Uh, my name is Javier Aguirre. I'm coming from Mexico and I did the Master in Applied Biotechnology. Uh, the strength of this program is that it offers both the basic molecular biotechnology uh, skills and also it offers uh, a very strong industrial connection and it also helps you uh, to develop an idea and transform it into a product or even a company. So during the masters we were always encouraged to analyze, to think on our own. So we were always given real problems, uh, either from industry or academic, so to, for us to actually solve. As I switch fields, as I just enter the biology field, I, I, all my background in biology like, comes from this master program I just did. Well, most of the courses are actually given by researchers. There are world-renowned, so you, you, can, uh, you can learn a lot from them. And the good thing here in Sweden is that uh, teachers and professor, professors are very, very approachable. And here I think it makes me feel a bit closer to the lecturer and makes me feel a bit more, more uh, like they are open to uh, discuss with you any, any question you have. I think biotechnology is actually the future of industry. And uh, of course, it's an industry that has a lot of potential. And uh, I, I want to participate in the development of solutions that can actually create a positive impact in people as, uh, as much as possible. So I thought like joy, uh, entering the biotechnology field will be a, a good way to actually create this positive impact in the world. My normal day will be like this, like having four hours lecture and then probably four hours uh, lab sometimes. Um, so that, that could be four hours lecture plus two hours wet lab and two hours computer lab. Or it could be two hours lecture and the rest lab time. Yes, uh, after my master program, I was offered the PhD position at the Juonson Group, um, and I decided to take it. So I started in a April this year. Uh, it's we are starting initiation of translation in in vivo, also in living cells. I think being a PhD student in Sweden, it's it's very good because it combines still being a student and also be uh, considered an employee which is a huge advantage. So you have all the benefits from being employed in Sweden, but also the freedom of being a student so you can actually develop uh, your own interests in research. My favorite place in Uppsala, it's probably walking next to the river because the landscape is very, very nice. You can find a lot of old buildings, but then the, all, all the, in, during the summer, all the people is just sitting next to the river and having an ice cream and you can do a lot of different stuff. I think that the student life in Uppsala is the, is the best among all Sweden because here you have a lot of different uh, activities that you can do from cultural activities to sports activities there are thousands of student groups you can join and also it's a very international city you can, so you can you have the opportunity to meet a lot of international people from all, all over the world, basically. So it's up to you, if, if you how many people you want to meet. One of the biggest pros of having a, an international network is that you can get to know a lot of different cultures and you can actually learn uh, a lot of stuff from every of them, from each of them. The biggest disadvantage of of having a lot of friends from all over the world is of course when they leave because when, when you're here you feel like a family you're sharing a lot of different things together a lot of awesome moments that you will remember your whole life but then of course there's always a moment to say goodbye and that's very sad 
I think with, with the skills you acquire here in Sweden, you are capable of doing anything, anywhere. I mean, I, I, I love Sweden. But why? <laughs>